Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're looking at the ICOM 2338 dual band rig. I picked this radio up a few months ago when I was looking for a 220 rig and uh, stumbled onto this by happenstance on eBay. Guy had it listed for, uh, well, I felt it was way too much, so I just watched the, uh, the auction and, of course, it never sold. He listed it again and again. It never, it didn't sell. So I sent him an email and just told him what I thought it was worth and made him an offer, and he accepted. It. And uh, he mailed it to me. It's been a, a solid little rig. I uh, tried to find a video on on YouTube. There wasn't a single video out there of it. So I thought I'd make one right fast. That way. If, Anybody else in the uh, ham radio world is interested, they can at least get a uh, a general overview of it. It's a it's a really small form factor. It's a tiny little radio, all things considered, especially for the uh, the time frame that it was made. But it's probably, as you see there, I don't know, maybe five inches wide, about the same uh, depth, maybe what two inches tall, I guess. Uh, it's got a little two-pin Molex uh, power cord on it there. I think that's factory. Sure appears to be. And uh, it's got a little automatic fan on the back. And I believe it just kicks on as needed, which I'm pretty sure maybe every time you key the mic. I don't know if it's truly as needed or not, but it works. It's automatic. Got uh, two uh, antenna ports coming out, both of them terminate in SO239. Uh, the one with the little rubber boot here is a uh, 2 meter, and that one's the uh, 220. I have it going into my little dial -a meter here. That way I can illustrate uh, the sort of power this thing does on 220 anyway. I'm not going to unhook it and rehook it for the 2 meter side uh, because it's. Uh, I figure if you're looking at this radio, chances are you're you're more concerned with the 220 portion of it anyway, as I was. And the, the two meter side, it, it's a 45 watt radio rated. I think uh, this one does do, I want to say at least 40 watts anyway. It's pretty close to what they claim. And on the uh, 220 side, this radio, I actually show it doing better than what they. Uh, have it rated for so there's low power and I'll switch the uh, The meter over here on the low power as well. Let me put this on uh, Simplex real quick, so I don't key a repeater Okay, there's low power And you can see it's just what eight and a half watts somewhere right in there SWR is not too bad and I just got it hooked up to a, uh, a little five element beam on my porch right now. It's not even 10 foot off the ground. We'll go to medium, which uh, I don't recall. I want to say medium might be supposed to be 10 watts or something, but you can see it's right at 15. Switch this over to high. Confirm it is right at 15. And then uh, we'll go to uh, high power. A little over 35 watts on my meter and the SWR looks pretty decent uh, so yeah there you have it they claim it to be a 25 watt radio I'm actually showing a little bit better now that meter is actually uh, it's rated for I think uh, 144 through like 450 or 460 something along those lines Let's see what does it say? 140 through 450. Okay, so I love that little meter. And uh, those little power leads, by the way, they are. It is a light at meter, which I never use it. But anyways, I just got a got it laying here on the uh, the counter in my kitchen of all places. Uh, hopefully, here in about three or four weeks, I'll have my tower up, and then I'm gonna do a proper setup. Run all my coax going into my my radio room and set up all my rigs but for the time being it 
it just lets me test it out and play with it and uh, and use it so I'm not complaining and uh, the microphone is a uh, standard push to talk you got channel up and down then a little lock slider up top and on the back you do have uh, a DTMF which I really don't have a use for DTMF but I'm sure some of you guys out there would like that feature and let's see if I can get somebody. We'll go down here to uh, me 20 K4 IED radio check. And 220 is not exactly popping. So. Of course, ham radio in general is kind of on the decline, but that's another story. There is a group of guys who generally get in there and use that repeater every once in a while, so we'll try one other repeater. K4 ID making a YouTube video. Anybody want to be famous? Apparently not. Alright guys. <clears throat> well that's the ICOM 2330A. So at least now you uh, got a video on YouTube showing it off. Even if it is a brief video. It's better than no video. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you got any questions feel free to drop them below. I'll do my best to answer. Peace.